And then it'll be a committee bill which will support. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Good. And we'll publicly state our position at the time we have one. Sure. Okay. Great. Sir. Well, that's the only thing that's, that immediately. All right. If you if you'd like to get into that. Uh, I think this. Uh, I really don't feel myself. I thought about it.
And we said, Pat, here's a big fat envelope. What is this stuff that hunted on uh, that uh, case in California? Well, no, it's other stuff. And uh, uh, Dean's never told me what was in the envelope. I don't know what's on the telephone. Well, he must have been in a hell of a lot of stuff. And he did some things. He did, he did some things for Chuck, apparently, that he made record of. Was that this envelope? Yeah. That Chuck made record of? No, that Hunt did. How did Hunt stuff? Well, we opened his safe. See, Dean took everything out of his safe. We turned everything over to FBI agents who came for it, except this envelope full of stuff. And then I called Greg in my office. Dean came in. I said, Pat, here's an envelope. We want to be in a position to say we've turned everything over to the FBI. So we're giving it to you. I don't care what you do with it, as long as it never appears. Suppose that they ask him about other activities of uh, on so forth. What does he say? Presumably, he says, I honestly don't know of any, because uh, maybe he never opened the envelope. If he was smart, he didn't. I don't want to get into that with him. Anymore. I understand. And I don't like that. But I want you to know about it. The, uh, uh, at some point in time, if you haven't already, uh, Bob or I or John Dean or somebody that'll give you a rundown on how this urban hearing is going to go, the kinds of things that are liable to come smoking up so you're not surprised. But um, we think there's a, a, a reasonably good possibility of coming through it very much like we've come through the trial with uh, a certain amount of day-to-day -day flack and even television stuff, but no lasting results. Well, I suppose that all is dependent. I talked to Bob a little about it, in case there would be some deal, but I suppose John is dependent. See, he gave you until that he came back to California and right to the But really, the problem is that one of these guys could crack. Sure. The one that, the one that, that, that crack could be really hurt would be Hunter. Uh, yeah, McGruder could really hurt in a different direction. Well, McGruder, if he cracks, goes to prison. Yes. All right, that's unless he takes the immunity. Is that what he would do? Possibly. Possibly. Uh, well, there, there are several of these guys that, that uh, we, we rely on. Sloan is not a problem. He didn't know anything. But uh, uh, Magruder is a problem. Uh, but Magruder knows a hell of a lot, right? Yeah. Let's face it, did, did Magruder hurt him so? Yep. Or did he? I don't know. Sure did. But I think he, uh, from what I've heard, he must have. Sure did. He said he was not involved. He didn't have a knowledge, and he did. Is that right? Uh, basically, that's right. Yeah. But beyond that, uh, I'm mean, being beyond Magruder. Who the hell else hurt himself? You betcha. I assume so, without knowing. But it was for you. Yeah. The thing, uh, the thing has a very good chance. If, if it's handled right, we can cut our losses here, cut our losses there, um, uh, try and shore up our finger here. Bill's and I heard, I thought you were, and I'm not going to be taken by surprise by anything. Okay. Well, when I say that, I mean, the only real problems that I see, basically, are whether it, to the extent that it ties into the White House staff. Uh, you know, I'm just thinking it's fortunate. All that church service and everything else, you know, at least I've never met it in Steve Wilson. Right. I don't ever, I don't, I've never met him. Never talked to him. I haven't discussed these things, right? I have not talked once. Never. I knew it was something. I mean, I mean, this is a great operation, Mr. Hunter, or, or, uh, or uh, the, uh, or, 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 or Colson in areas other than Watergate, but purely political stuff. Yeah, which is perfectly legal. Yeah, nothing wrong with it. Yeah. I mean, they, I think they did some work on, uh, on, uh, Teddy Kennedy or something. That's in the paper, right? Did right. some investigating. Yeah. The other reason I raise it at this point is yeah. because, the, the handling of Gray in other hands, Eastland and his and his group, could go in a, in an unpredictable direction. I just don't know. And so that's the that's the one uh, lingering hazard. Now, the other prime candidate is Henry Peterson, the uh, uh, criminal deputy, and he's in just as bad shape. Oh, Christ. You know, and without the ties that Gray has. He wouldn't care what happened to us. Uh, Ruckel's house is a, is a possibility. Uh, uh, there's, there's one other fellow named uh, Vernon Acri, who's the head of customs, who's a possibility. But uh, that's about well, the great thing. thing. That's that's right. Right. Our senior point is two Watergate hearings. That's right. Would Gray would not be called before the Urban Committee? No, it would be 
could be, but uh, probably wouldn't be. <coughs> so a sort of double indemnity. There is double double indemnity. Double double double